Nina needs an outfit for a party. I really like this black skirt, but I need something to go with it. How about this brown blouse? It would look good on you. It's nice, but black and brown don't look good together. Then, how about this dark blue blouse and this pink belt? I can't wear dark blue and black together. Also, blue and pink don't match. There's a pretty white blouse over there. Oh, I like that. White goes with anything. I can wear the pink belt with it too. Thanks. I'm glad I could help. Hi, I'm Jeff. Hi, I'm Hanny. Welcome to part B of this month's ABC Talk lesson. Today, we'll be talking about colors once again. Now, Ed and Gina are back. They'll be the stars of our dialogue once again. Right. Last time, Ed and Gina were painting in art class. They were painting and mixing colors. Today, Ed and Gina will be doing something slightly different. Hmm. Okay, indeed. Ed and Gina will be shopping throughout today's lesson. No painting, but shopping. Colors, though, will still be important. Anyways, I know it's sad that they will no longer be painting in art class. But like I said before, that's okay. Color isn't only important when it comes to art. You are correct. When you're shopping for clothes, color is important as well. When you're shopping, you have to make sure to buy clothes that go together. Mm-hmm. One wrong move. And you could end up buying clothes that clash. And that's not a good thing. Even I know that. <laughs> Look at me. Very funny. Okay, we have said enough. Let's take a look at today's vocabulary right now. After we do so, we can get started on today's lesson. 好，今天的对话是关于买衣服。Gina 看到一件她很喜欢的黑色裙子，但是女人的衣橱永远少一件衣服。她说她需要可以搭配的衣服。那么 Ed 就拿了一件棕色上衣，他认为 Gina 穿起来会很好看。这边有两个单字 ，skirt。Skirt 表示裙子，它是当名词用。例如 ，The red skirt looks good on you. The red skirt looks good on you. 你穿那件裙子，红色的裙子很好看。下一个单词 ，blouse。Blouse 表示上衣，那通常是女生穿的，稍微比较正式的上衣。Blouse 是当名词用。那如果要表达，哎，这件裙子跟你的上衣很搭配，很相配，你就可以说 ，This skirt goes well with your blouse. This skirt goes well with your blouse. 好，那么接着 Ed 他拿了一件深蓝色的上衣，还有一条粉红色腰带，要给 Gina 搭配。Gina 说，她不要穿深蓝色跟黑色的组合，而且蓝色跟粉红色不搭啦。好，那这边有两个单字 ，belt，belt， belt, 它表示腰带，那它是当名词用。例如 ，the belt costs nine hundred and eighty NT dollars. The belt costs nine hundred and eighty NT dollars. 那条皮带要价新台币九百八十元。那我们最后一个单字是 match。Match 在课文里面，它是当动词，表示相配或是相衬。像是 These sandals match your dress perfectly. These sandals match your dress perfectly. 这双凉鞋跟你的洋装超级搭，非常相配。好了，现在我们看完单字例句，接着回到课文中。Gina needs an outfit for a party. I really like this black skirt, but I need something to go with it. How about this brown blouse? It would look good on you. It's nice, but black and brown don't look good together. Expert.
explanation one. Welcome back to part B of our ABC talk lesson for this month. Today's lesson is titled "Shopping for Clothes." Right. Today, Ed and Gina will be shopping for clothes. Well, to be totally clear, it will be Gina who will be doing the shopping. Ed is just helping her out. Correct. Okay, let's begin. Ed and Gina are shopping because Gina needs an outfit for a party. Oh, Gina 需要一套参加派对的服装，所以 Ed 应该就是要陪 Gina 去逛街买衣服。那这边有一个补充单字 outfit. Outfit 它表示一套服装。Okay, Gina has the first lines of today's dialogue. I really like this black skirt, she says, but I need something to go with it. Hmm, she needs something to go with it, eh? Hmm. How about a black skirt and a grammar note featuring Teacher Daphne? 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是搭配相称的三种英文表达法。第一，如果想表达两种东西很搭，请用 A goes with B。例如 ，This wine goes with seafood。这款葡萄酒跟海鲜很搭。第二，如果是某物跟某人很搭，请用 Something looks good on somebody。意思是某人穿戴某物很好看。例如 ，These jeans look good on Mandy。这条牛仔裤，曼迪穿起来很好看。第三，如果是某人主动穿搭，请说 wear A with B， 意思是穿 A 搭配 B。wear 在这里是及物动词穿戴的意思，三态为 wear、wore、wore。例如 ，Melissa is wearing a pearl necklace with her block dress。玛丽莎戴珍珠项链配黑色洋装。And we're back. Gina needs something that matches this black skirt. Right. Ed has an idea. How about this brown blouse? He suggests before adding, "It would look good on you." Ed thinks that the brown. Blouse looks good on Gina, but does it look good with the black skirt? No, no, it doesn't. It's a nice blouse, but black and brown don't go together. Gina says it best. It's nice, but black and brown don't look good together. There you go. Anyway, though, that's enough for now. I say we take a break, but don't worry, we'll be back soon. Then, how about this dark blue blouse and this pink belt? I can't wear dark blue and black together. Also, blue and pink don't match. There's a pretty white blouse over there. Oh, I like that. White goes with anything. I can wear the pink belt with it too. Thanks. I'm glad I could help. Explanation two. Welcome back to part B of this month's ABC Talk. Today. Ed and Gina are talking about colors while shopping for clothes. Now, before the break, Gina had found a black skirt. She likes this skirt. Sadly, though, she can't find a blouse to go with it. Now, Ed tried to sell her on a nice brown blouse, but she'd rejected it. She'd said no, because brown and black do not go together. 
Indeed, Ed had tried and failed to help her out, but Ed is not a quitter. Next, he comes up with another suggestion for Gina. Then, how about this dark blue blouse and this pink belt? He asks. Dark blue and black and blue and pink. What is Ed thinking? Is he colorblind or something? I have no way of knowing. One way or another, though, Gina rejects Ed's latest suggestion. I can't wear dark blue and black together, says Gina. Also, blue and pink don't match. You see, that's exactly what I said. You know what? I think Ed should stop making suggestions. He should get out of the way and let Gina take over. Annie, I think you're being a little too tough on Ed. After all, he's just trying to help. Next, he says, "There's a pretty white blouse over there." And amazingly enough, Gina likes it. Oh, I like that," she says. <laughs> Ed just got lucky. Anyway, next Gina explains why she likes the white blouse. White goes with anything, she says. Then she turns her attention back to the belt, saying. I can wear the pink belt with it too. True, but that's not all she says. You see, Hanny, she's grateful to Ed, the big lug, for all his help. She also says thanks to Ed, and she means it. Right, and Ed returns the favor. I'm glad I could help. He says, "You know what? I'm glad too. I'm glad to be associated with the finest grammar teacher in the biz, Teacher Daphne." 今天的第二则文法是 "I'm glad I could help." 意思是很高兴我有帮上忙。有主要子句 "I'm glad" 我很高兴，与名词子句 "that I could help" 我能帮上忙组成。由于说这句话的时候已经帮上忙了，因此要用助动词 "can" 能的过去式 "could"。例如 ，There's no need to thank me. I'm glad I could help. 用不着谢我，我很高兴我能帮上忙。Okay, folks. With that, our time is now up, and it's time for a break. Right, but don't go away. We'll be right back with more fun next time. Gina needs an outfit for a party. I really like this black skirt, but I need something to go with it. How about this brown blouse? It would look good on you. It's nice, but black and brown don't look good together. Then, how about this dark blue blouse and this pink belt? I can't wear dark blue and black together. Also, blue and pink don't match. There's a pretty white blouse over there. Oh, I like that. White goes with anything. I can wear the pink belt with it too. Thanks. I'm glad I could help. Train ticket, train ticket, English. 欢迎收看就爱讲英文，我是悠悠。CJ， 我们出差或旅游一定要租车，因为如果不是你开车的话，就需要租了。嗯、对，对，我们今天跟大家分享租车五个必备的实用句。一 ，I like a mid-sized car。
二 ，Do you have special rates？ 三 ，Can I return this at a different location？ 四 ，I like to buy extra insurance。五 ，What time can I pick up the car？ 去租车，你通常会告诉对方，就是你要什么什么样的车子。嗯，最常就是追租这种中型的，一般般的。Oh, 对，一般般。I like a mid-sized car. I don't like a mid-sized car. Mid 就中间的 mid-sized car， 中型的。中型的。嗯嗯但是租车一定要我有没有特惠价？比如什么生日啊，什么你可以折多少？特惠，特别贵的啊，特别贵的，特别便宜啦。哦、嗯、，Do you have special rates? Do you have special rates? No,、oh, rate 指的是价格哦。Mm. Oh, 那通常我们指的是什么？租金啊，旅馆的费用啦、啊，保险费啦、啊，油资啦、啊。好、oh, ，这些我们会用 rate。Do you have special rates? 有没有特惠呢？有没有特惠的价格呢？但是我们的车子租完之后，可能会看到其他的城市，就是可不可以那什么？假地租、以地还之类的、哦，对，能不能在不同的地点还车？我们就问说、嗯、，Can I return this at a different location? Can I return this at a different location? 对 ，location 就是地点啦 ，return 是归还。好 ，Can I return this 这台车 at a different location？ 但是租车一定要注意到呢，因为你有可能会不小心的擦撞到，所以记得一定要买保险。对啊，买买保险呢，就是 I like to buy。Extra insurance. I like to buy extra insurance.、Uh, insurance is 保险。那 extra insurance 就是额外的。最后就要问什么时候可以取车啦？取车，取车就是 pick up the car. Pick up the car. 把车车子捡起来。起来<笑> What time can I pick up the car? What time can I pick up the car?、嗯、一般我们会用 pick up 来表示呢，就是像取件啦、啊、取货啦、啊嗯。比如说 pick up the laundry. Pick up the laundry. 啊、哦，去拿这个已经洗好的衣服啦、嗯，或者 pick up the dry cleaning. Pick up the dry cleaning. 对，去拿这个干洗的衣服。或者 seven 取货。对，对，就是、常会用的。Pick up. Pick up. OK， 我们看一下今天的 live action. Pick up. How can I help you? I like a mid-size car. OK. Um. Do you have special rates during the New Year? Yes, of course. It's actually cheaper. <gasps> Can I return this at a different location? Yes, no problem. Oh, I would like to buy extra insurance. Sure, I'll explain it to you later. Oh, 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 what time can I pick up the car? Anytime. We're open twenty four seven. Uh, okay. Thank you. No problem. Let's go. Hello， 大家好，我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟单元喽。那我们今天在 A B C Talk 又学到四个单词，现在用一分钟的时间帮大家复习。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟继续，开始。好，第一个单词是裙子，我超爱穿裙子。那裙子英文怎么说呢？叫做 skirt。skirt。Tina bought a skirt and a handbag. Tina 买了一件裙子，还有一个手提包。好，第二个单词是上衣，那它通常是指女生穿的比较正式一点的上衣。这个字怎么说？叫做 blouse。Blouse. The blouse comes in three colors. 这件上衣有三种颜色可以选。好，第三个单词是皮带、腰带，这要怎么说呢？它叫做 belt. Belt. How much is the black belt? 哎，这条黑色皮带要多少钱呢、啊？好，第四个单词哦，它好多意思哦。当名词还可以指比赛，它在课文里面当动词表示相配啊、相称，像衣服裤子搭不搭之类的。这个动词叫做 match， match。Lila bought a new pair of boots to match her jeans. Lila 买一双新的靴子来搭配她的牛仔裤。好，太棒了！我们在一分钟之内完成任务，顺利复习完四个单词，同学们表现很棒哦。那今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。Thank、you